Aerobic respiration. In aerobic respiration, glucose is oxidized in three steps. 1. Glycolysis. The process of glycolysis occurs in cytoplasm. The molecule of glucose is oxidized step by step and two molecules of each pyruvic acid, ATP, NADH2 and water are formed. Molecules of pyruvic acid formed in this process are converted into molecules of acetyl coenzyme A. Two molecules of NADH2 and two molecules of CO2 are released during this process. 2. Tricarboxylic acid cycle, TCA cycle. Both molecules of acetyl COA enter the mitochondria. Cyclic chain of reactions called tricarboxylic acid cycle is operated on it in the mitochondria. Acetyl part of acetyl COA is completely oxidized through this cyclic process and molecules of CO2, H2O, NADH2, FADH2 are derived. 3. Electron transfer chain reaction. This process occurs in the mitochondria only. Molecules of NADH2 and FADH2 formed during glycolysis and TCA cycle participate in electron transfer chain reactions. Due to this, three molecules of ATP are obtained from each NADH2 molecule and two molecules of ATP from each FADH2 molecule. Besides ATP, water molecules are also formed in this reaction. Thus, molecule of glucose is completely oxidized in aerobic respiration and molecules of CO2 and H2O are produced along with energy. 4. If there is insufficient amount of carbohydrates in body due to exceptional conditions like fasting and hunger, then lipids and proteins are used for energy production. In case of lipids, they are converted into fatty acids, whereas proteins into amino acids. Fatty acids and amino acids are converted into acetyl CoA, and energy is obtained through complete oxidation of acetyl CoA by the process of Krebs cycle in mitochondria.